Well, good day everyone and welcome back to the channel. Um, today it's my last entry into the Fall Food Friday collaboration hosted by the Moss Family TV. Um, and today I am doing a Irish stew for you. Now my choice of meat for this one is lamb. Of course you can use any meat you choose. You can have beef, pork, chicken, uh, whatever you wish. Um, traditionally an Irish stew does have lamb in it, but, you know, use what you want. Now we're just going to start off by um, browning the meat. We just want to put a little bit of colour on it. Now for me this is one of those hand-me-down family recipes. Uh, this was taught to me uh, by my dear Irish grandmother. Um, Gran was one heck of a cook and she taught me a lot of what I know and my dad taught me the rest. Uh, I do modern it up a little. Um, I've changed the way that it gets thickened compared to the way Gran would have done it. Um, but we'll go through that as we go along. Now I'm using lamb four quarter chops which are out of the shoulder. Uh, they like a slow cook. Uh, really brings out the flavour in them. And I'm using six chops, which comes to about a kilo and a half. So that would be about three pounds for the Americans. Next, we're going to just add in a diced onion and just give that some color as well. So just tossing it around a bit, giving it some color. Um, everything we can just to, just to add the flavor of the food in there. I don't so much want to add flavours as bring the flavour of the food out. Okay, now those onions have got a bit of colour on them. We're just going to add some salt and pepper. Uh, you don't add the salt before your onions get some colour because it'll stop and colouring it up. Um, so you want to salt it after you colour the onions. And just a quick mix in. And next for me, just a couple of tablespoons of just some minced garlic. Uh, again, not really a traditional one, but I like garlic, so hey. And we just want to cook the rawness out of the garlic, and then we're ready to go across and put it in the slow cooker. Okay, one of the wonderful things about my slow cooker is the heavy frying base can just go straight in. All right, now we're just going to add the meat back in. And then about half a dozen small potatoes, just cut in a, in a large chunks. And the last thing I'm going to add in at this stage is some cider, um, which is an alcoholic cider, but the alcohol is going to cook off during the cooking time. You can just use some apple juice, um, which will work well again for pork. If you're doing a beef stew, then you know some beef stock. If you're doing a chicken stew, then some chicken stock. Any of those will work. And so, just going to throw a couple of cans of cider in there, um, probably about three cups worth, and cover it up and let it sit for a couple of hours. Okay, here we are, about two hours into the cooking process. So the meat's had a chance to sort of soak up the cider the potatoes been cooking along now we're going to add in a couple of parsnips sliced up uh, one turnip uh, diced up and about five medium sized carrots sliced up again so we'll get those all in there. Add some hot water just to bring that water level up so it's pretty much level with the top of the vegetables. And give it all a good stir. Just want to make sure at this stage we get those potatoes back underneath the water so they're cooking properly. Uh, we will continue to stir it as we go along. Okay, then we're going to cover it up and leave it sit for another couple of hours. 
Okay, a couple hours later, and we're just gonna open it up and give it all a good stir again. We just want to make sure that everything's getting a good chance to cook and all the flavours are marrying together. Okay, later in the evening now, and about half an hour off serving, about half an hour, three quarters of an hour. I'm just gonna add in about half a dozen mushrooms and a cup full of peas and corn. Um, just to add some colour and some flavour into it, just give it a good mix up. And Bob's your uncle. Okay, it's about time to serve, so we just need to thicken it up. I've drained off any excess fat. Now, here's where I'm different from what my grandmother would have done. Uh, she would have used flour back in the day, uh, flour and some of the, the liquid to thicken it up and then later gravy to do it uh, whereas I use instant mashed potatoes so I just find it to be quicker, easier it doesn't add any undue flavour to it also find the instant potato works really well with the cider flavour that's just as an undercurrent at this stage and of course what else would you serve Irish stew up with but more potato um, yeah, look, I got Irish blood. There's never such a thing as too much potato at dinner time. So just a nice healthy dollop of potatoes on the side and a bit of stew and off for the taste test. And I've got my beautiful little assistant for the taste test today. As you can see, we are quite happy with it. Well, thank you so much, everyone, for watching. Um, please do me a favour. Hit the like, hit the subscribe, and hit that little bell notification so you know when I've got more videos coming along. And please head over to the playlist at Moss Family TV and have a look at some of the other videos in the collaboration. Again, thank you very much for watching, and bye for now.